Hello there. Well, module 7 already. This week we will talk about disease, signs and symptoms. And as usual, we are going to start with the vocabulary. So today we will talk about uh, vocabulary related to disease classifications. But also the key vocabulary in the four videos you have this week. As you may already have noticed, you have four videos. The first one is on infectious disease, followed by another one on HIV AIDS, which is an example on infect of infectious disease. And then you have a third video on chronic disease, followed by the fourth one, which is on obesity which is an example of chronic disease. So in this vocabulary session, we will go over the key terms in those four videos. But first, let's start with some key terms. Of course, we will start with disease, which is a pathophysiological response to internal or external factors like a reaction to internal or external factors and then you have another word close to disease which is disorder which is a disruption to regular bodily structure and function for example you can talk about mental disorder behavioral disorder emotional disorder another similar term is condition which is an abnormal state of health that interferes with the normal feeling of well-being just the feeling that something is not okay you also have disability which is a physical or mental condition that limits a person's movement senses or activities then you have symptoms of a disease a symptom is a subjective evidence of a disease a subjective evidence means that it is felt by the patient and only by the patient as the people cannot see it some examples are fatigue or dizziness or headache these are felt by the patients but as the people cannot see them Close to symptom, we have the signs of a disease. A sign is an objective evidence of a disease. And here, the difference is that it is visible to the patient, to the doctor, and to other people too. Some examples are nose bleeding or vomiting. And usually people talk about the signs and symptoms of a disease, which is what our module is about this week we also have what is called syndrome which is a group of symptoms and signs of a disease 